So, um, I just finished, um, try not to drop my controller this time. I just finished Dishonored, Death of the Outsider. Um, as a fan of Dishonored, I'm really disappointed. Um, not because the story was bad. It wasn't. I mean, it was okay. The story was okay. Uh, it involved you playing as Billy Lurk, who was in Dishonored 2. <clears throat> I never mentioned her in that review, but I'm mentioning her now. Um, teaming up with Dowd, who was a... who was in Dishonored 1, um, to take down the Outsider. The, the god that you see throughout the first two, who, who talks to you in your dreams and whatnot, and shit. Um, the story was okay, um, it, it's, first of all, the technical issues, uh, clipping, um, enemies sinking through walls and shit, um, enemies seeing you through walls, like solid objects, um, as a stealth game, it's currently broken, like, I... I did a stealth run, right? And it took me about... Like, six hours to complete. It's about a six-hour long game. And that doesn't include... All the times I reloaded... A save because I got spotted so fucking fast or so easily or whatnot. It's the hardest stealth game I've ever played. But not for... Not for good reasons. For reasons that... Are technically yet the game's fault where I get spotted when I'm taking cover through solid objects and their alertness gauge increases and they spot me. What the fuck? Um, so yeah, the game's very buggy right now. It's very buggy, there's a lot wrong with it. Um, but also, th the gameplay, like the game mechanics and stuff and what you can do has been significantly toned down from Dishonored 1 and 2. Um, now I understand the game, it, it, it's half of a Dishonored game, it's 30 bucks, it's half as long, so, not having enough is, it, it, it's acceptable, you know? I mean, it's nowhere near as bad as, you know, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes or some shit where you pay 30 bucks for a two hour long game. No, this is like six to eight hours long, depending on how much you explore and how many of these side missions or contracts that you complete, which, by the way, I did none of them. I just focused on a, a stealth playthrough this time. I will play through again, mostly combat and contracts. Um, but, um, they got rid of runes. Runes are, were used in the first two to, um, acquire new abilities, powers, and upgrading those superpowers. Runes are completely gone. Uh, they got rid of those, so the only powers that you have are the three that are given to you in the beginning. Um, so yeah, there's no upgrading powers. There is upgrading gear. Uh, they still have the black market that you, uh, you collect, you know, coin and then you use it at the black market to upgrade your gear. Which I never really needed to do because, I don't know, I mean it was more, it's probably more useful for a combat playthrough. But, um, but yeah, they got rid of runes, they got rid of the heart, the, the pumping heart that you equip to find runes and bone charms, in this case, only bone charms. So, in this one, bone charms only, you only know where they are when you're, like, really close to them, like, like, fucking, like, five feet away from them. And it's stupid. And they got rid of... They got rid of the mana elixirs, so you have infinite mana. I, why? Why would they get rid of something like that? There's no excuse why that shouldn't be there. Um, and I don't know, man. I I just I just didn't really like it. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna say it's a bad game, but it's it's one that needs to be patched. And it's a very disappointing game to me. Um, yeah. 
Um, now, I heard that there is, uh, apparently there is a mode where you, you can play through the game with the powers from Dishonored 2, which is really fucking cool because I love the powers from Dish Dishonored 2 and Dishonored 1. Um, the problem is, if you don't have any runes, though, the powers are going to be very weak. You're not going to be able to blink as fast or as far or in slow motion. Um, it's, it's just, I don't know, it, the, the fact that there's no runes just makes the game a lot harder than it should be. Um, it just felt too hard as a Dishonored game, and not in, a, and not in like a challenging way, just, just in like, in what you can't do, you know? Um, that's about it. I'm just really disappointed, like, even a lot more than I was with The Lost Legacy. At least The Lost Legacy was a solid game. Um, this isn't. It's a problem. Um, as of right now, I'd probably give it around a 5 out of 10. You know, just kind of like, uh, like, it's almost a bad game. Like, it's kind of like barely okay. It's like, it's like okay at best, you know? Um, yeah, that's all I have, really. Wow. Um, so, I don't know, man, I mean, if you're not a fan of Dishonored, you're definitely not gonna like it. If you are a fan, you might like it. I personally didn't that much at all. Um, you don't need this game. It It is... It's 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 an expansion, like a standalone expansion. It kind of felt like a spin-off, but in in actuality, it was a sequel. And I don't think, based on the endings, I don't think there's going to be another Dishonored. I think Dishonored is over. I I'd be surprised if there's a Dishonored three, but if there is, I'd still be pretty excited to try it. Just make sure they have a lot more development time. Enough development time to get these patches gone. Uh, unlike this game. Anyway, guys, um... That's it for now. Um... Coming up next... Is a game that's probably even worse that I've been playing. And, uh... Yeah. Stay tuned, and, uh... Thank you very much for watching.